Welcome back to game five. So we'll start with just a quick look at the standings. So here we finished up game four, winning a three player game. And we're moving into game five, uh, into a four player game. And the standings currently are us in first place and Camel in second place and JK Mushy in third place. So we're in a good spot. At this point, let's see how game five turns out. Here we go. Okay, here we are, game five. Welcome back. Red took their turn. Yellow takes pyramids. Red took Hammurabi for one. Blue takes engineering genius and frugality. And now it is green's turn, and that is me. So what do we do? stockpile and cultural heritage no i'm just kidding um well we could do the library and julius caesar or the library and urban growth uh what other leaders do we have um so cleopatra aristotle and hippocrates are not out yet Moses and Boudicca will be one if they get to me, if they're not taken. Let's see, so yellow does not have a leader. Blue does not have a leader. So... Boudicca would be one for... Uh, Moses is one for yellow. No, for red. Boudicca would be one probably for yellow, but definitely for blue. Subsequent leaders would be two or one for blue. So if Cleopatra, Aristotle, or Hippocrates did come out, they would be one or two for me, depending on what happens, depending on who gets taken. So it kind of uh, come down, comes down to whether I want urban growth or Caesar. And I think I want Caesar. Um, urban growth is a good thing to grab if I have uh, an extra action for a yellow card, if it's available. I think my, my one row is going to be full of leaders and wonders that I can't take, though. So I might have one sort of odd action left. It gets stuck with stockpile or something. Versus, um, if I had urban growth, I could use that the first turn and then grab a leader, hopefully later. I mean, I'm sure I would be able to get one of them. I mean, I guess it's possible that no leaders could come out. In this situation, six cards are coming, so those three leaders, in theory, could not come out, although it's unlikely. So I wouldn't mind any of those leaders, honestly. They'd all be fine. Uh, and it might give me something to do with my action that turn. But really, if the leader makes it to one, then the yellow card would too. So it's going to be a weird turn regardless. So I think I'll just take Caesar. I know what I'm getting into, and we'll start with that. So all the leaders actually came out, which is a little unfortunate. So I may be able to, may be able to Grab that urban growth for two. I'm not sure what else I'm going to be able to do with my action. but So in this situation, urban growth probably would have been more helpful. So red. Alex Hammurabi builds a mine. A bronze increases population and takes Colossus for two. Helps Hammurabi, I suppose. And then yellow builds a bronze... And increases population, takes frugality, and takes stockpile. Two cards. 
blue takes Cleopatra, elects Cleopatra, builds a mine, plays frugality. And now it's my turn. So it's a little awkward. We can elect, build a bronze, increase population, and then I think really not have anything to do with that last action, which is bad. So I think the options are two. Maybe take urban growth, elect Caesar, and increase population. Maybe one, because there's going to be three events before me, so the chance of getting... Um, what is it? Getting development of religion or warfare is relatively high. Um, so I want at least one population, so I don't want to... I don't think I want to build the bronze and stay like that. So then... I think the question becomes uh, elect Caesar or build a bronze. So I guess what we're trading is one military at, uh, card and one military strength and the option to do two political actions. So. The chance of me doing two political actions is relatively low. If I got two aggressions uh, and red plays an event, I might be able to do an aggression on red twice, but I probably wouldn't want to do that. Um, I think in this situation, I'd rather have the resource and elect Caesar next turn. So, um, so we'll go with that. So there's one of my aggressions. wonder if I could have gotten another one. But at least I don't have two political actions to do, really. So red builds a bronze. A fourth bronze increases population, takes swordsmen and patriotism. With Hammurabi's extra action, gets one card. Yellow gets open borders with blue. Takes Hippocrates, elects him, builds a pyramid stage, and takes knights. Blue. Plays an event and reveals development of religion. Super early, we get a religion. Takes Great Wall. Builds a Great Wall with Engineering Genius and builds another with Cleopatra Resource and builds a warrior. It's a nice start. I will skip politics, build a temple, uh, probably elect Caesar at this point, and then what? Drama, there's no Bach, there's no Marlene in this game. There is Charlie Chaplin. Doesn't matter as much for opera, though. Code of Laws is sitting there. That's not bad. I don't have the science yet. Masonry's there. Um, not sure I need that at this point. Iron is here, if I wanted to take iron early. Cartography is there, if I wanted to play inhabited territory. But it's a little early for... For cartography, I think. I don't know. I don't want to invest in that for just inhabited, I don't think. Would that look like you'd play it, take cartography, and code of laws? It's kind of silly. It's a lot of science, and I don't have any science at this point. You know, these events will reveal some, but I don't have it yet. Um... I mean, my, my natural tendency here is to build this alchemy. Oh, I can't. I can't do that. I can't do that and take iron. Interesting. 
Hmm. I was going to say it would be to do that and take iron, but I can't do that if I elect Caesar. I probably need to elect Caesar. Start getting these military actions. I could swap them out right away for Saladin or something, just like in that other game. Um, or... Well, we keep that population. It's going to take a while to get iron. Even if that card comes up next time, I wouldn't be able to get into it. I would be able to get into Cartographer if I took it, but it's definitely not worth two civil actions at this point. So what do we do? We do that and take Code of Laws, maybe? Kind of a weird turn with using that population so early. Now, no one's... If, if people take the... Uh, He used frugality, right? Must have. Yeah. No one's going to get that warrior. I can't unless I don't build the lab, but building the lab is probably worth it. And then, what do you do? I mean, I guess. <laughs> uh, I don't really want to hold... <clears throat> I mean, it's a risk to hold Code of Laws for a bunch of civil actions, and then you get development of civil life, and you have not enough food to increase population. You don't have a tech you can develop, and that just kind of feels bad. So if we did this instead, we built that and took iron, we can avoid that. We won't get into iron next turn, but we could use development of civil life. And we'd also be getting science going. Um, we do have the library. So... What does that mean? I guess this means if we don't build anything, we can finish it next turn and get the science that way. So then we could elect... We could... Let's see, we could elect Caesar. We could take iron. And... I guess Code of Laws? But again, we're sitting on three science with nothing to develop if civil life comes up. I mean, it's, it might not come up, right? But it might. And it'd be nice to be prepared. I guess in this situation, we could at least increase population, which is a good thing. So at least we'd have something we could do with it. Um, we're going to be a science behind. Uh, but not really, because no one has built that. So we're not really behind there. I guess the other option is ma masonry here. So we would be able to develop masonry for one cheaper. We would save a civil action on the library. Um, we save resources as we upgrade into alchemy and whatnot. So I guess this is probably better. Next turn, we finish the library for three. We increase population, and that's our turn. Then we'd have uh, three, six science. We could do iron upgrade. Yeah. Masonry saves a bunch of resources over the course of the game, so you could make a case for that. But you have Code of Laws on one, generally. If you're going to take it. Not a super compelling reason to take masonry here. So I think this is the better option. Let's go with it.